I am Pat Hutchinson and I'm from Oshawa, Ontario. Oh, horses came to me late in life. Uh, they called me from the time I was a little girl. I've always loved horses, but I was a city girl. Never had the opportunity to be around them. It just wasn't in the cards. And I was a civil servant for 25 years and when I retired, I took early retirement many years ago. And they were on my bucket list. I just wanted to be them around them. I didn't necessarily want to ride, I just wanted to be around them. And so I, I read Soul of a Horse actually by Joe Camp and I was in a state of bliss the entire time I was reading it and immediately contacted him and he has been so encouraging and it's actually because of him, he, he um, got me started. Horses are incredibly intuitive. They are non-judgmental, and I think that was probably the, a big thing uh, that attracted me. They're non-judgmental. They're accepting. They don't. They, they, um, they provide us with unconditional love. That's what it feels like. It's a very somatic. It's a feeling thing. Very difficult to articulate. Experiential is definitely the easiest way and then our brains can try and interpret what it is we've felt. Shortly after I began actually riding, which was probably three or four months after I got into natural horsemanship, I would go up to the farm. One of the reasons I took early retirement to back up a bit was because I was um, getting daily migraines and they were very severe and it was impeding my quality of life in a big way. So shortly after I started interacting with horses, I noticed one time, in the first time in particular, it happened a lot after that, I would go up to the farm for my lesson and there was this one horse and I would go up to the gate the first time I did this and I, my head was just splitting on this side of my head and he just stared at me and then he stretched his head out and he started gently nibbling on my face. I was terrified. I thought, oh my God, he's going to eat my face. <laughs> but something in me held me there. And he nibbled all the way up, halfway, back down again, and very gently went like that. So I turned around and he nibbled my neck, back again, and then he turned his head and went, <sighs> which I thought at the time was very strange and yet I recognized that my migraine was gone, totally gone.